police officer is coming here to get your grandmother later. Why don't you have a nice cup of tea? What happened to Miles and James? Where are they? I need to see them before we leave. They are coming with us, right? I just could have made it. What are you talking about, you idiot? What about Lynn? She's my best friend. She shouldn't be here. Come get her. Stop! I'm sorry. They're dead. What? And Gordon kills them. What? <laughs> no! Everybody, everybody, everybody this way, everybody this way. Sorry to interrupt, Sergeant Elton, but I got told I could find Angelina here. Who the hell are you? I'm Bethany Hale from ACT News. I'm here to interview you both. What the hell do you want? I don't want to do a story, and even if I did want to do a story, I wouldn't want to do it with a stupid, dumb bitch like you. Angelina! Let me handle this. Miss Hale, I want you to go on the front and talk to people later, okay? And I want you to go to the police station. Alex Brown will see you. Fine. Mr. Brown, she's here. Okay then, bring her in. You can come in for now. What's going on? Are you arresting me? Why am I here? Hello, Angelina. My name's Chief Inspector Alex Brown. We are not going to arrest you. The reason why you're in the station because we have to keep you safe from Peter Gordon. What about my grandmother? Why will she be here? I'm scared and tired and I just want to go home. Your grandma will be here in a second. Why don't you have a nice cup of tea instead? No, thank you. Oh my God, Angelina, what happened? You! Come, my darling. We got to get home. You exhausted her. Listen. Before we, both of you guys go, we need to ask you a couple of questions. We don't need any questions, Mike. I'm taking her right home now. And if you want to get in touch with me, you will come to my hotel and I will give you my answers. Exactly. Good night. Bye. <laughs> How dare she do this to me? I killed them all. She can't escape. Thanks, ma'am. Not a problem. How's that help you out? What is this? Some sort of publicity stunt? I want some money for food and my family. And... So, please give me some money. Get off me, you freak. I need some money for my food and family and kids. Shut up, leave me alone. When you think you can get uh, uh, no the best news grabs or for the purposes of tightly managing the media. Oh! Hey Nan, the news is on! Good evening. I'm Rose Allen with tonight's breaking news. Convicted serial killer Peter Gordon has escaped from the psychiatric facility he was being held in awaiting trial. Peter Gordon has been held in Rosemont Psychiatric Hospital after being arrested for killing 10 people. <laughs> At this stage, a massive manhunt is underway. 
and any persons having any information about this case are urged to contact Chief Inspector Alex Brown at Tuggeranong Police Station. In the meantime, let's talk to Bethany Hale. He was at Rosemont Psychiatric Hospital following all today's events. Thanks, Rose. I'm here at Rosemont Psychiatric Hospital, where today the, ki the killer, Peter Gordon, staged an unpredicted breakout. During the breakout, he injured two security guards who have been taken to Canberra Hospital, where they remain in a serious but stable condition. Gordon, who was waiting trial, has been in the facility for only just 48 hours. He made his daring breakout when he made his daring breakout. Police and local authorities have blocked off all surrounding streets. People have been warned not to approach Gordon. Just a few minutes ago, I spoke to Chief Inspector Alex Brown, who is handling the investigation. Good evening, Bethany, and thank you about this report. Peter Gordon is a very extremely dangerous individual. People are warned not to approach him. People have seen or talk about this man must report to the police immediately. What about Angelina Stewartson, the only surviving victim of Langridge Street? She's now in protective custody. We have, we have done our best to protect her, but we share our efforts and attention to keep Peter Gordon back in jail. Thanks, Chief Inspector. Anyone have any information that could help in this matter, I urge to contact at the number on the bottom of your screen. This is Bethany Howell coming to you from Rosemont Psychiatric Hospital. Back to you, Rose. Oh my God, man, this is terrible. I know, I can't believe it. What's happening? We have to get a hold of the police. Alex oh. Brown said we were under protective custody. Do you really think you could do that? Oh, oh, do something, hurry up. I'll get it. <coughs> I thought you were supposed to be in the supermarket or a Chinese restaurant or something like that. No, no, no. We were just having a cup of tea and the light's blue. Listen to me. You have to stay calm and relax. Everything's going to be all right. Me and David were going outside to check the situation out. The lights has been struck by an electric storm. There's, mm. Be careful, there's lots of thunderstorms out there. Okay. Oh, okay. Have you, you ever heard of Peter Gordon? Yeah, we just watched the news. And you said we're under protective custody, though. The reason why we're in... <coughs> oh, I know, I know, I know. <coughs> the reason why we're in Rosemond, because we have to explain people to stay away from Peter Gordon, to lock their doors, to make sure everyone's safe. Mm, yeah. And by the way, both 
I've got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is we have to have some other projects to do, like solving other <coughs> crimes. David, calm down. I'm just coughing. It's cold outside. And the good news is I have a friend who guards your house all the time, 24-7. Okay. So, have you come here to protect us from this man? Yeah, yes, but your my friend will protect <coughs> all of you. Okay, you're fine now. But this do we really doesn't... have to go anywhere? Mary just came, and we're kind of scared. I think we'll be safer together. Maybe we should keep you safe. And we don't have to force you. We don't have to force you to go out the streets and get murdered. Mm -hmm. I think Angelina is all right here. Yeah, she's just upset with herself. What she needs is a good rest and um, be a normal self again. I think Terry is right. I mean, Angelina will be safe here as long as they lock up the house. And I bought spare clothes in the car so I can stay here for as long as I need to. She's I think, right. I think you girls stay here. Yeah. All right, David. Let's, let's go, go check out Tata. Thanks, officers. Thank you, officers. I'm sure they're going to be right, Alex. If anyone turns up, at least there's a police officer here. We're not alone. <coughs> Hold on a second. <coughs> Hello? Okay. Yep. Alrighty then. Bye. What is it, Alex? There's been a sighting of Peter Gordon at Bravewood Park. Come on, let's go. David, I think we should split up. We'll cover more ground that way. Why wouldn't we break for backup then? We can, but we're not wasting time here. Okay, which way should I go? You go this way, I'll go that way. Alright. I hope Peter Gorn should be there somewhere. I hope so. Peter Gorn? You here? Please put your weapon down. Damn you, stupid son of a bitch! Come on, it's not that bad. You're gonna make it. Come on, man, you're in good shape. Tell my son. Tell him what? Tell him that his father died of hero. No, you're telling yourself because his father's not gonna die. His father's not gonna die. <laughs> Come on, David. You're gonna live, you're gonna make it. <laughs> I'm gonna kill that freaking son of a bitch! So, um, I don't think you would be at school today, Angie. No, I couldn't stay at that house any longer. I was going to say. Oh, really? Well, why don't you come over to mine this afternoon? You know, have a sleepover. We can, you know, watch movies and stuff. Sounds like fun. Okay, let's chat. Oh, what you doing? Oh, man, I left my assignment at school. I think I left my books in my locker, too. Oh, no, I always have a habit of this. Um, Lisa? Yeah, what's up? What is that? 